Hi, Professor Baldwin here, and today we're going to go over a quick introduction to graphing. But first, remember that a solution to an equation is two numbers. It's an ordered pair, one for each variable. So typically that's an x-y combination. For the first example, we're asked to determine whether the ordered pair is a solution to the given equation. And notice that our variables aren't x and y, they're a and b. Well, in math, your coordinates will always be in alphabetical order. So here, our x-coordinate is actually going to be a, and our b-coordinate is our y. So what we're going to do is take this first ordered pair and substitute it in for a and b and see if it's true or not. That would give us 2 times negative 1 half plus 5 times negative 4 fifths, and we're checking if this is equal to 3. 2 times negative 1 half is negative 2 over 2, and 5 times negative 4 fifths is negative 20 over 5, and again, we're still simplifying to see if it's equal to 3. Well, negative 2 over 2, that simplifies for us to negative 1. And 20 over 5, well, this is a negative 4. Yeah, is negative 1 minus 4 equal to 3? No, because negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And negative 5 does not equal 3, so no. This first ordered pair is not a solution. How about the second ordered pair? We're going to do the same thing. So we have 2 times 0 plus 5 times 3 fifths, and we're checking if that equals 3. 2 times 0 is 0. 5 times 3 fifths is 15 fifths. And does that equal 3? Well, 15 fifths simplifies to 3, and 3 does equal 3. So yes, the second ordered pair is a solution. Now, what if we need to graph an equation? When you graph an equation, you're just making a drawing that's showing all of the possible solutions for that equation. And here we're going to be graphing a linear equation, so a straight line. And we're going to graph it using the intercepts. Remember that the x-intercept, that is always the point when y equals 0. So we solve 2x plus 0 equals 4. Or 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 2. Now remember, it's x equals 2 when y is 0. So this is actually the point 2, 0. And we can plot that. Then we can find our y-intercept, and our y-intercept is when x equals 0. So we're going to solve 2 times 0 plus y equals 4. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, so we're left with y equals 4. And again, this is y equals 4 when x is 0, so it's a point. It's the point 0, 4 and we're going to plot that. Now, because we have plotted both intercepts, we can connect these two points, and we get that straight line, which is a graph of this equation, 2x plus y equals 4. Now, something else that comes up when we're talking about graphing is the distance formula. And the distance formula, given here, tells us the distance between two points. So it's the straight line between those two points. For the first example, we're asked to find the distance between the pair of points. And we're going to give an exact answer and an approximation to three decimal places. And to find the distance, we need to know which value is x1, which one's x2, and so on. Now, it doesn't matter which point you decide is point 1 or point 2. You just need to make sure that if the first point is used as x1, the corresponding coordinate is y1. And then the second point, we have x2 
y2. Now we can substitute in to that distance formula. So we have x2, which is 5, minus x1 of 4 squared, and then we're going to add that to y2, 9, minus y1, 6 squared. And we'll slowly simplify. 5 minus 4 is 1, so we have 1 squared, plus 9 minus 6, which is 3 squared. And that is 1 squared is 1, plus 3 squared, which is 9, which equals the square root of 10. Square root of 10 would be our exact answer. And when you plug the square root of 10 into your calculator, you get approximately 3.162. We say approximately because we had to round after that third decimal place. That's why this is an approximation of the exact answer square root of 10. Now another formula we're going to encounter is the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula tells us the coordinates of the point that is exactly between two points on a line segment. And the way you find that is with this formula. You add the x values together and divide by two, and you add the y values together and divide by 2. And that will give you the ordered pair for that midpoint. Again, it doesn't matter which point is x1 and y1, just as long as you keep those together. So our x-coordinate here is going to be negative 1 6 plus negative 2 thirds divided by 2. And we're going to simplify that numerator first. And to do that, we need common denominators, which are going to be 6. So the first fraction stays as negative 1 6, and the second one becomes negative 4 6. And this is still over 2. But remember, we can write this as 2 over 1. Now continue to simplify that numerator, and you get negative 5 6, because we're subtracting those two fractions and that's divided by 2 over 1. Now remember, when you have a fraction divided by a fraction, you keep that first fraction, the numerator fraction, and you can multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. And multiplying straight across, we get negative 5 twelfths. So this will be our x value, negative 5 twelfths. And we're going to find the y value. So our y value is going to be our y1, negative 3 fifths, plus our y2, 5 fourths, and again, that's divided by 2. Now, to simplify that numerator, we need to have a common denominator. And the common denominator be between 5 and 4 would be 20. So the first fraction goes from 3 fifths to negative 12 twentieths. And the second one is 25 twentieths. And again, this is over 2, but we can write it as 2 over 1. Simplifying the numerator, we have negative 12 twentieths plus 25 twentieths. That denominator of 20 stays the same. And we deal with negative 12 plus 25, which is a positive 13. And that's divided by 2 over 1. And just as we did for the x-coordinate, we're going to keep the numerator, 13 twentieths, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. And when we multiply, we get 13 over 40. So the y-coordinate here is 13 over 40. And there we have the ordered pair for the midpoint between two given endpoints. Have a question or a problem you want help with? Leave it in the comments and I'll include it in one of my videos.